data is one of the most hyped things in, in enterprise warehousing these times. How would you see differences between big data today and working with high volume structured and unstructured data as we already or many customers already see the, uh, this in the past? So the way a lot of industry analysts define big data is they talk about the four V's, the volume of data, the velocity with which it appears. Uh, then uh, the variety of data, different kinds of data, and the value of that data. So if we talk about the first two Vs, which is the volume and velocity, I think uh, Oracle has done really well with big volumes of data. We've proven that our uh, database can scale to petabytes. There are production petabyte databases out there today. As far as velocity, you know, Oracle also is the best OLTP database. It can process lots and lots of transactions. Um, so velocity is not really a problem uh, for, for an Oracle database. The last two Vs that define a uh, big data, uh, the, the, the big data area had to do with variety of data and, and the uh, value of data. In variety, we talk about you know, different kinds of structures, structured versus unstructured and, and, and semi-structured. And uh, that is some of that, the, the kind of data that uh, you want to uh, keep and analyze is, is new. And things like you know, web logs and machine-generated data, these are the kind of uh, data that you didn't necessarily keep in the database before. And with the big data uh, technologies, you may want to keep them either in the database or very close to the database that's accessible from the database. And also the last V was about the value of data. And this is also slightly different than the kind of data that we kept in the database. If I uh, can give an example, for example, if I log into my bank account and I do it, uh, a movement of money from you know, savings account to checking account, by doing that, I may have generated, say, 200 bytes of data. That data is very, very valuable for a bank to keep at any cost. And we call that kind of data high information density data. If I continue with that example, and if I log into uh, my uh, bank account again, uh, or my bank's website, and then I look at different kinds of products that my bank offers, uh, by traversing their website, I may have helped generate lots of data in some web log saying, you know, Chetin visited uh, this URL followed by that URL, etc. If you think about that, I may have generated, you know, multiple kilobytes of data, but the value per byte of that data is not the same as my transaction data when I moved money from one account to another. So that's what we mean by kind of um, uh, high uh, or low information density data. So these are the things that big data uh, related technologies allow you to store and distill down and analyze. Okay. So we are looking forward to see Oracle's answers how to deal with these um, challenges. Yes. Chetin, thanks a lot for your time and for the interview and enjoy your stay here in Germany. Thank you very much. Thank you.